This is a very special three ramen video because I have here spicy boat duck, bokum yun, um, stew type. And after I eat this, I'll have officially tried every single spicy boat duck ramen flavor or type that exists. Uh, finally, I can put all the boat duck stones in my infinity ramen gauntlet. Uh, so, uh, I'm very looking forward to this because uh, I. A soup version seems interesting. Um, let's try it out. All right, here it is. That broth sure is red. <sighs> the noodles in this are really tasty. They're kind of like a flat, a flat noodle, and they're definitely a different type than the uh, regular boot duck. Regular boot duck is kind of like standard ramen, but this is a little flatter. Um, it has a little more chew to it, and it makes a big difference because it actually soaks up the soup more. And the soup is really good. Um, there's definitely a heat here, but honestly, this tastes, I think, better than regular boat duck because regular boat duck's a little too sweet because it's so condensed. But because this has like a broth and it kind of like spaces out the the spiciness and the, and the sweetness. It's not as spicy, but I like the flavor a lot more. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the noodles. They're very tasty. It still has that sweet and savory flavor, the sort of meaty flavor that boat duck has. But yeah, it's a very tasty combination of good noodles and broth. Speaking of broth, let's try the broth, which might be a mistake. Even that's not as bad. I mean, it's definitely, uh, it's not even that spicy actually, which I don't mind. I've had so many Boot flavors. I get what the spicy feeling is like. This one is definitely the tamest one but probably the tastiest one. Here you can see the broth is a nice deep red. There's some sesame seeds fooling around in there. Um, yeah, and see these noodles are kind of nice and flat. Really great noodles in this for an instant noodle. As far as boot duck goes, I think this is one of the best ones. Um, just in terms of, this is a, something I could eat regularly. Other boot duck, I don't think I could eat regularly. It'd be a little too much, but this is like the perfect spice for like a regular eating ramen. Uh, yeah, this is very good. I really like this a lot. All right, here's ramen number two. This is Tongarashi chili pepper noodles. Uh, apparently it's not that hot, but it's got a sesame spicy soup. So let's try it out. All right, uh, this stuff comes with like a special little liquid you put in. So I'm gonna mix that in. Looks like it's like a spicy chili liquid or something. Let's try it out. It's got almost like a, like a citrusy taste but it does have like a faint chili pepper flavor as well. Yeah, definitely some kind of like almost lemony, like a chili lemony, you know, the, like chili lime chips or whatever that are popular in like Mexico. Kind of like that, and it's, it's pretty good. The noodles are soft and inconsequential, but the flavor is not bad. With the broth, you definitely get more of that sesame flavor sesame seed flavor, um, that sort of nuttiness. Um, that's a pretty good broth, actually. I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it more as I eat it. Here you're gonna take a look, kind of like a red speckled broth, um, after the liquid is mixed in there, some veggies here and there, pretty standard spicy bowl. All in all, it's a pretty tasty little cup. Some funky flavors going on with the sesame and the citrus, um, but overall, Pretty tasty. And here's our final ramen. This is Chanpon, uh, a regional cuisine of Nagasaki. Thick noodles and a mountain of vegetables. Uh, okay. All right, let's try it out. It's kind of bland, actually. I'm a little disappointed, but let's see if we can, let's, let's throw in some veggies. The veggies are sweet and tender. They're pretty good. But yeah, it's a little bland. I mean, it, it's, it's vaguely savory. Let's try the broth. It's got like a nice sort of meatiness, but it's still a pretty faint. It's not bad, just inoffensive. It's like a very bland tonkatsu sort of pork bone soup style. That's what it tastes like to me. The vegetables are pretty good, but otherwise it's it's pretty bland. Here you can see the broth, just kind of like a cloudy sort of um, yellowish white broth. Um, you can see some vegetables and uh, looks like this is what uh, fish cake floating around in there. Yep, good vegetables, unfortunately, cannot save what I think is a pretty bland broth, but they can't all be winners. It's not bad, but kind of, kind of bland. I've been saying bland a lot, but it's pretty bland.
Anyways, that was three ramen. Good bland.